All right, folks, so we are back. We are back, hopefully, uh, with some better performances from the last episode. Well, the first performance was all right, and not really, to be honest. I'll be honest with you. If I was Ten Hag, this would be me. Uh, the players and the team was not good enough. Yeah, sh shipple. That's it. It's not good enough. So this episode, we're going to crank it up. So today, we've got another big match, folks. We're taking on Chelsea, and then we're taking on Bournemouth, as you can see behind my chair. So that's going to be the game plan. Now, regarding Cristiano Ronaldo, and see, I'm kind of recording these all in one day, so I don't want to get too ahead of myself. Um, we're going to leave Ronaldo for the time being until the next episode. Then I'm going to make a decision. Uh, the funny thing with Ronaldo, actually, is look at this. Imagine if this was the real Cristiano and he actually said this to the gaffer. Hey, Gaffer, I think you know how frustrated I get when I can't play regularly. I uh, just wanted to say I'm prepared to turn out in any position you think can benefit the team. I'm not stuck on playing in regular position. I just want to be out there helping the team. That's not a selfish Ronaldo right there, is it? So, yeah, but unfortunately, I don't really care about him and I'm just going to keep annoying him. Um, what's best for the team? Look, I make every decision based on what I think is the best for the team. I know it might not always suit you, but that's not really my problem. Uh, focus on working hard and being available. It's not all about you, Sean. Yeah, that's probably what Ten Hag said to him. As you can see, he's now getting annoyed. It is what it is. Uh, but yeah, you've got to let me know. Bayern München or Real Madrid so far. There might be more offers coming in in this episode. So stay tuned about that. Uh, Fred came back and said I was disappointed or it was a disappointing result. But thanks for putting me in. Well, you won't be playing anymore, Fred, because we may be out of the Europa League because you didn't do it. Um, you need to get back to 100%. You embarrassed yourself. All right. So we're going to go ahead and advance the time. Uh, the press conference, once again, not really that fussed about it. Uh, Chatting-wise, right, Luke Shaw, I've been playing pretty well. Uh, I'm feeling really good, and I hope that means I won't be on the bench. Uh, I'll think about it. As simple as that. Now, we also have to change Lukey, so I'm going to go over to the squad hub, and we're going to go to development, and uh, we are going to go to Luke Shaw, development plan, and I want to see... I want to see how long it would take for him to become a centre-back. Two weeks. So we could add that to the equation. All right, I'm going to go for that. Because Luke Shaw is, for some reason now, becoming a left-back. And to be honest with you, he's been doing all right. Uh, if you've got any tips as well for, like, training players and all that spiel, let me know. Uh, because, you know, I, I just need some help regards to that stuff. So... Just let me know if there's any formations you recommend, tactics you want me to try. Just let me know. Well, we have a bit of a problem, folks. Look at the team. This is actually the team. Like, I've, I've knackered the team out. Whatever I've done has completely butchered um, the lineup. Oh, I shouldn't have probably played that constant pressure. It didn't work. So we're going to have to make a lot of changes. Uh, I think we're going to have to start... Gonna oh, man, this is... And this, is, this isn't even against... What's the name? It's against Chelsea. All right, well, Lindelof. Oh, man. This is Terendios. Right. Um, McTominay. This is a complete makeshift lineup. I mean, we've got Ronaldo on the bench, but he's not playing. I'm not starting him. He can sit there and play with himself. Didn't want to play for Man United in real life. He's not going to play in the virtual world either. Right, other players that we can put on the bench. I don't know. I really don't. No one's got the sharpness up there. I mean, we've got Palestri. Maybe Palestri might be better than Ganacho because Ganacho hasn't got the best. Uh, you know what? We'll do this. Alanga would go on the left. We'll start. We'll start Palestri instead of Ganacho, just because Ganacho is lacking uh, with the with the sharpness. I mean, he's plus two. Palestri's plus four. Anyway, either way, this is going to be a mission. I, I don't know what else to do. There's there's no one else I can put on the bench. What does it matter? Anyway, let's just do this. This is going to be a real tough game. Jake shaking on for Chelsea. Uh, they're playing a 4-4-2. <sighs> I'll see you guys in there. Let's see how this goes. So here we are, live at Old Trafford. 
It's rainy, it's wet. We've got a makeshift Manchester United team because we've knackered everyone out and we're taking on the Chelsea. So this should be good fun. But Martinez, there he is, the butcher, the Argentine machine. Uh, he is the captain for today after his World Cup shenanigans. He did pretty well, didn't he? I think he did all right. Managed to win it. Uh, but anyway, let's dive into this, folks, and hope and pray that this goes somewhat all right. It's not even the players themselves. It's more the fact that no one has any sharpness in this squad. And, uh, you know, that's the concerning thing. But, you know, we're not playing on legendary. We are playing on world class. So at least it does give us somewhat of a, a bit of a chance. Um, referee. Oh, he stayed down there. I don't like the look of that. I mean, I like the look of Kante getting a yellow card. And Ericsson, apparently he's fine. He must have got up quickly then. Jeez Louise, that is... It's a red card, that. Right, well, we're not having a shot from here, are we? So, we're just going to pass this and get it out wide. Dallo. There we go. Nicely done. Here's Palestri. How gets the ball back post? Oh, I thought that was in. One of those anticlimactic moments. But Mendy... Didn't have to do a whole lot, but it was Ilanga. We've got such a makeshift top three here, or front three, with Martial Pelestri, who's never playing. And uh, obviously Ilanga as well, but he can't get in the team. Comes on as a, a sub every now and then. And here is uh, Cucurella, who hasn't been a great signing for Chelsea. Here is uh, Bamiyang, another player that's lacked massively. Oh, he went for the specialty and fortunately completely missed it. Early chances at both ends. As we spray this all the way around to uh, Diego Tallo. Oh, Sterling, get those legs out the way. Abamyang looking to play it through the mixer. And there's the goal. Oh, hasn't taken long, folks. Oh, my goodness. I knew this was going to be a mission. Just terrible. You've got to stay with your man. Who is that? Lindelof? Waste of space. Not good enough. Just stick a foot in or do something. And that's a good finish from Broja. 1-0 Chelsea. Oh, dear. All right, McTominay. Oh, my goodness me. Sterling with those long legs. Where did he get them from? Must have bought them. Ericsson. Nice little turn there. They're Chelsea playing decent, though. They're not here to mess about. That's a nice pass. Malassia. I need some support in the middle, though. And here's Donny. Barely seen him so far. McTominay. Ilanga. So again, there's not enough movement. And we're going to have to start this again. And spray this all the way round. Malassia. Not the ball, Malassi. He's going to play it up the line. And here's a chance now for Chelsea. You can't let him score another one. No chance. Got to try and find Martial. Right, Ilanga, use the pace. There it is. Burst of acceleration. Martial through the middle. That wasn't the pass. Trying to force it. And Bamiyang now brings it forward. Cucurella. Long, hopeful ball. Sterling does square it nicely. Broja. Back to Sterling again. Stay with him. And that's a Chelsea corner. Oh, this is tough. There he is, Harry Potter. Oh, that's not his name. It's Harry Potter. It's Graham Potter. Mr. Potter himself. But yeah, he's having a real hard time at the moment. Chelsea just not just not happening for them in real life. Kulabali. That's a good challenge. Right, come on, lads, please. Van der Beek, slow as a grandma. Still going. Now hit it. It's not a bad idea, you know. Can he get it down? He can! Palestri, oh, we tried to loop it over the goal. It, honestly, I didn't think Palestri was going to get there, but that's good play from the young boy. He's lucky he hasn't got booked there. He hasn't got booked because he missed the player and he missed the ball. But had he have got the ball and the player, that would have been a yellow card. I mean, his studs are up there. Ooh, it's, it's, that's a lenient ref. Should we have a go from here? I mean, who's going to take this? Ericsson? Probably our best bet, isn't he? I think we might. We, we might go for a bender. Just absolutely wail it. 
It's going to be Christian Eriksen. Well, it wasn't the worst shot in the world because it could have took a deflection and ended up anywhere, but it didn't. Here is Sterling. You still can't really get a foothold in this game. Still not created anything. Chelsea took the lead thanks to uh, a good finish from Brogia, but it was debatable defending from Lindelof. Got the wrong side of his man. And that's where you can't get caught out. Offside ref. Malassi is there. We'll find uh, Dallo. Right, come on, lads. Little, little one-touch football. That's more like it. Dallo, now flick it over the top. There you go. We'll anger all day on the touch. Now we go this way. Nice brilliant play from Alanga. How good's the ball in? Well, you don't need to know that because it's embarrassing. <sighs> Luis Chavez. Is he? I didn't know that. It's news to me. <sighs> Are we going to get all these camera angles and stuff in eFootball? I mean, that's the big question. We don't, see, we know UFL are adding all of this stuff, which I do like as much as everyone's going to skip it, obviously, if it's online. But I do enjoy seeing, you know, some cut scenes and all that outside of the boot ball in. That should be comfortable. It wasn't that comfortable from David De Gea. We, 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 tactically, we're going to have to adapt. I don't know what we're going to do in the second half. Maybe we'll play more narrow, more together. But this isn't happening. And then the front three is not working. It really isn't. Oh, my goodness me. <laughs> I don't know how it's still 1-0. Zachariah with a chance. And David De Gea comes up Trump's last chance of the half. And that is the first half out of the way. So I will see you guys in the second half. We're a goal down and it's looking really rough. Right, so Ten Hag has given uh, Manchester United players a right kick up the old jack seat at the start of the second half here. We are going to play, you know, tactically just change a few things here. What's happened there, lads? Um, well, I'm going to walk around me here. I always struggle with defending because I'm like, I don't know if I want to dive in or not. That's comfortable for David De Gea. You know, you never know. Do I want to dive in? Do I not want to dive in? I don't know. Do this, do that. Referee says play on. Well, Ericsson here. I'll tell you what, that's not a bad little ball, you know. Over the top here, left-hand side. Ilanga. Well, he cuts back himself. Ah, you've got to control your shots. Ten Hag says, yes, better as a player as a dude. Play the possession. <laughs> Just do a bunch of things. Oh, I'll tell you what, though. Ten Hag's accent is getting, not his accent, but his language is getting better. You can tell he's getting more confident with his English. So I'm going to have to change my, uh, oh, I have to change my accent every now and then with Ten Hag. I still love the way he says, Dim. Anyway, this second half has got to be a lot better than the first. I mean, next up, we are taking on Bournemouth. We'll have most of the players back for that game. Just to let you know, oh, that's a woeful pass. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, Lindelof, you did enough to put him off there, but it wasn't good again. My passing is just all over the shop. All right, Malassia. Malanga, back to Ericsson. See, it's not the ball. I'll tell you what, that's worked. And the bait, that's a lovely ball. Palestri! Oh, Got to hit the target, Pales. Oh, manual shooting, folks, ain't that easy. <laughs> hey, Bama Yang wants to play it through. Well done, Lindy. Oh, Lindy, Lindy. Just did enough there. Ilanga. Start again. I'll tell you what, that switch is on. It's not a bad ball. Ref and ball. We'll take that. Thank you very much. I mean, there's no point bringing on Rashford. I don't want to make any changes, folks, because they're just going to be knackered for the next game. As Thiago Silva is coming on, a little bit more stability there for Chelsea. But yeah, it's not been good enough, boys. Step it up. Malassia. Palestri. McTominay. I mean, you see Chelsea, they are they are going to push because that's the type of team they are. Oh, ref. Good play from Ericsson, though. McTominay. There you go. Bit of possession, lads. Right, here we go. Full pelt. Dallo, take it in your stride. Good Jesus. Another change. Ziek coming 
on off and Mason Mount coming on right so we'll bring on Ganacho. I really want Ganacho to be well number one he needs a new face looks terrible uh, but uh, I need the sharpness up for him I really do Martial has done nothing for me absolutely nothing I keep forgetting he's even on the field so I've tweaked him a little bit we'll see if that does anything but currently yeah we're just not getting anything from him it's not good enough right, it's Sterling now bit of play there's the one twos oh Obama Yang all day David De Gea does well uh, Chelsea I mean look they're playing some decent stuff I keep mentioning the squad but this is not that this is not the ideal team missing so many players and there's no point bringing them on at this point there really isn't is that handball so we're just gonna have to deal with it it's a long season there's still plenty of games to go oh dear oh dear so, you know, it is what it is. Well done, Ericsson. That's quality, mate. But there's no one up top. His mount. Averts wants to play it through. Oh, I've been absolutely creamed like a cracker. On Christmas Day. Actually, it'll be more like pulled like a Christmas cracker on Christmas Day. Pathetic. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Just goes to show you, lads, even on world class, yeah, you can get punished when you don't defend well. And uh, that block messed me up. And then they played the quick square ball. No chance. Absolutely no chance. David De Gea was already on the floor. And, uh, oh dear. Yep, Ten Hag is not happy. But final two minutes of a tough game. A tough, tough, tough game. And, uh, yeah, this isn't going to help us in the league at all. I forgot to look at the league table, actually, last time after we won. So I don't even know where we are in the table, but it doesn't really matter. As I said, still a long way to go. I mean, you know, these players aren't sharp. Then The sharpness of a lot of these players is pathetic. And you can, you can tell. You can tell. Lindelof, yeah, I mean, yeah, messed up probably for the goal. He's been, yeah, whatever. He is whatever. He is whatever. A Swede's a Swede. He's offside, surely. And ball. Refs says play on. Mount. Let's not concede another one. And David De Gea says we won't concede another one, but we'll be very, very close. I think Chelsea wish they were playing like this in real life. Anyway, final corner of the game. Dallow gets it away. Referee, just blow the whistle. I've had enough of this. An absolute shocker. Kante. Once again, Lindelof gets in the way. And and the referee blows for full time yeah boo all you want boo all you want we didn't put out a good team messed up in the last game and we had no one to play you just you wouldn't play that lineup against Chelsea in the real world it's not happening but <laughs> Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang with one goal three attempts and uh, if we have a look at the final shot count for you, five attempts to ten. Yeah, we got outplayed. We're not even going to worry about an interview because Ten Hag would, he wouldn't waste time with an interview after that. He'd be giving them a good hiding. Actually, I do want to look at the player performances. So, Elanga had a 6.4. So, Dallo was our best player. Malassia. See, I thought Ericsson did all right. But yeah, McTominay was poor. Martial didn't play well. I mean, Palestri had a chance, but yeah, not good enough. Next. All right, folks. So, well, there's a look at the table. And, well, that goes to show you, isn't it? Maybe you should look at the table because Chelsea were first. Well, they are first and they were first. So, Chelsea top, Liverpool second, Spurs a third, Wolves a fourth. You've got Man City fifth. Blimey, we are having... A really bad season. I didn't realise we're that far off the top. I mean, we are 11 points behind top four already. That's disturbing. I don't know how well this playthrough is going to go, folks. If we end up getting fired or sacked, then, you know, we'll just take it on the chin and we'll move on with it. But you live and learn. All right, so we're going to advance the time. Now we're going to be taking on Bournemouth. I will show you the lineup, as always. Uh, and definitely it will be a different lineup for this one. 
Uh, Bruno Fernandes now is not happy. You know I'd been f- not. Fi- you knew I'd not been feeling 100 percent and needed a rest, but you kept picking me, and then suddenly you left me out. Yeah, because you needed a rest. What a stupid thing to say. That's absolutely ridiculous. Keep pushing yourself. And what do you want about? Uh, Luke Shaw was disappointed you left me out. Once again, you weren't fit. And uh, that's the key. I have to rotate the squad. Rotating is key. Every game needs to be approached differently. And uh, I was looking at options. Okay? Ridiculous. Some of these players, you have to try and keep happy. It's madness. <sighs> All right. So let me play around with the boys. There's the team looking much better now. I will not be doing that constant pressure again. It just wiped the team out. Um, you live and learn. So let me pick a lineup. I'll see you in a sec. All right, folks. So today we are going to try this a little bit different. We're going to play a really, not a really, I shouldn't say really, just a higher line. I'm going to try and play a little bit higher up because with Martinez and Varane, we've got pace. Solanke, Solanke ain't got any pace, right? Bournemouth aren't a quick, quick team. We're going to try this. We need goals. I mean, that's my biggest issue is trying to put the ball in the bloody net. So that's what we're going to go for. I also might try... I'm going to try the vomit color kit today. Where hey Let's go for the old greeny McWeeny uh, and see how that does. Apart from that, the usual settings, everything as always. I mean, world class for me. I think when you turn on that, you know, that player individuality thing that makes the players play a little bit better when they're better players, if that makes sense. It, it works better in world class. On legendary, they just go mad. You see that ding, 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 ding. It's insane. World class, you can get away with it. Anyway, I'll see you guys there. Let's do it. So here we go. We've got to win a game. We've got to win this. I mean, the pressure's on in this match. I'm serious. If I'm a Man United fan and I'm taking on Bournemouth, you've got to, you've got to get a result. Uh, we've lost to Chelsea. We lost to Real Sociedad before that. That's probably put our Europa League hopes down the pan. If that happens, that's a disaster. So, you know, you do what you can. But this is a match where we have to perform. And uh, I really want to see how the lads play. I probably should start playing with these tactics a little bit more and just try and find different suits, different play styles for myself. Um, you will notice as well that Sancho and Anthony are not going to be drifting too far inside uh, because they're going to be playing more, more width in this game. So... I would expect us to... That's a lovely pass. That is the type of ball we're looking for. Just splits players wide open. Anthony, back post delivery. Oh, Neto plucks it out of the sky. Uh, but yeah, Sancho's going to be getting in the box. Anthony's been getting in the box. We're just going to have a lot more attacking presence about ourselves today. And hopefully this is the match where we can click into gear. We need players to be sharp, feeling spicy, and go from there. And we've got Casemiro back into the mixer as well. Bruno, you've got to make that run, son. Need a little bit of movement there. All right, here comes Billing. Up from the uh, defensive position. Ball over the top. Martinez does brilliantly well. Right, now this is where we can use some pace. Rashford. Get it wide. That'll do. Jaden. Go on, keep going. Oh, well, no one wants to move, so we're going back the other way then. Sancho. Martinez, good start this boys, this is what we need, we need the ball, we need possession, Dallow, Anthony, saying that, we've lost it, looks like we have an early goal, nope, yep, Man City have scored, Haaland is on the score sheet, unsurprisingly, hasn't it taken him long, just nine minutes, Zamora, get on him, well done Anthony, ref, not our ball, I will get back into this. My issue was obviously just... I, I started playing eFootball a lot more. Obviously, I went to LA. Um, so, you know, I was focusing on playing the game more. David De Gea's done brilliant. Oh, Martinez was there. Cop, blimey, lads. But, you know, once I start getting into the swing of FIFA again, we'll definitely start playing better. Uh, it's just trying to find our feet. As the ball is swung in, free header. Why did I open my mouth? Blimey, we are having a mare. Has this game got harder or have I just got worse? I think it's the latter, to be honest. And this is a nicely worked move. Pulled me away. I mean, where's the defending? It should be man marking, lads. Who's that? Dallow? Just standing there watching him. 
He's a good two feet away from him. It's an exceptional header. But that's poor defending. It really is. Anthony, there you go. Right, the problem is that we just don't have enough quality in there to win that header this time. Get up. Go on. That's what I mean. I know Miss Ronaldo. I'm not going to play Ronaldo because he doesn't play for Man United anymore. It would be insane to play him, wouldn't it? But, you know, when you have someone like Ronaldo, he's going to win you the headers. We don't have anyone who's going to win us those headers. Rashford ain't going to win the headers. Martial ain't going to win the headers. And Martial's been missing headers in real life anyway. Casemiro, that's better. Bruno, there you go. See, we are going to create more here, but we've got to be very, very careful about getting caught on the break. As uh, Stacy has just ploughed straight past Malassia. And then my player has just taken out his own player. <laughs> We're all over the place. I'm just... Are my players are take, attacking their own players. Moran gets a foot in it. That's gone straight for our own players' legs. Right, now we can bring it forward, though. Ericsson. Now Rashford wants it. See, that's the ball we're looking for with a bit of pace. Rashford! Oh, it was heading in. The one time I get the ball on target and the goalie makes a good save. It's not like we haven't had the ball. Just once again, defending. Especially from corners. Not good enough. Malassia, who on earth's that to? Well, took a big deflection, came off his arm, and I guess we'll take the uh, the free kick. All right, watch this. Go on, Ericsson. Have a go, son! I think we've just got to start doing that, honestly. Having some strikes from long range. We've got to. Well, it's just not going well, is it? I don't know what's happening here. This, we won against Crystal Palace last episode at the beginning. I thought, all right. Not too shabby. And since then, we haven't scored. We've conceded every single game. And it's bad. So, get ready for the second half. All righty. Let's do this, folks. Strap yourself in. Okay, we're going to score at least two goals this half. I'm feeling the vibe, right? We've changed it up a little bit. Rashford's going to be staying up top. And uh, we're going to keep Anthony up there. We're going to keep Sancho up there. And ultimately try and do something with this ball when we get it, if we can get it, because Bournemouth are playing some decent stuff today. Here is Stanilas. Plays it square. Casemiro, stay with him. Well done, Casemiro. That'll do. Right, Rashford. Pathetic. That's not good enough. Oh, you're having a laugh. It's too easy. It's too easy for players to get in behind. It really is. Rothwell. I do love a challenge, don't I? I do love a challenge, folks. And that's exactly what we're getting today. Here we go, Anthony. Come on, left foot. No, I, I just don't know where I want to go with him. It's like, should I square it? Should I not? I don't want to mess the passing up, so I embarrass myself. All over the shop here, lads. Trying to high press with Dallow. He's lost it. Bruno. Go on. Oh, he's so close. Casemiro, ref, two-footed lunge again. Ref doesn't seem to care. I'm trying to get players to close down, but it's not working. Dallo, oh, blimey. All right, find Anthony. Squares it. Flick it. Go around the other way, not the pass. You're wasting the ball. Are we really, are we really, really going to lose to Bournemouth? I mean, this is insane. Come on, we're not going to lose this. We still have faith. Offside. No offside? Lerner. Bruno. Right, Rashford, who's barely, barely even seen the ball today. And this is the type of balls you've got to try and play. Over the top. Ah, oh, Sancho! Uh-oh, now we've got issues. Someone else go to him. And that's why you're going to stay with him, because otherwise you're going to concede another one. That's better, that's better. Right, come on, Bruno. Rashford, you want it? You want it, Rashi? You want it on a plate? Come on! Oh, he hasn't got the legs. How's Rashford not got the pace? You're having a laugh. Rothwell. Oh dear, oh dear. Someone else go to him, because I'm concerned. Hold him. 
Hold him. Starts again. Stacey. Some sort of a scoreline coming up, but I don't know what the score is because I'm trying not to concede a goal here. Well done, Martinez. That was a handball. But we'll play on. Rashford's done well there. Bruno Fernandes. Chance to deliver it. That's another handball. Ref says play on once again. Dallow. Well, Rashford, run away. <laughs> Finish. Pathetic, Sancho. Absolutely useless, son. Folks, we may get fired by the end of mid-season here. I'm not even joking with you. Well, we're going to have to make a few changes. There's just, there's not enough cover. Once again, it, it, there's a lot of players that do still need, I think, shafted, you know, and bring in some other players. We definitely need forwards. Um, all right, we've got to do team press. I keep forgetting about these controls as well. So we're going to do a bit of team press now for the remainder of this game where, I mean, if we lose again, this will be the fourth consecutive, is it the third consecutive defeat? Third consecutive defeat, lads. It's not good enough. Well done, Bruno. I'll tell you what, he's done brilliant. Rashford. This time, oh, I just went full power. This is the only time, uh, the only way I think I'm going to score is just wailing it 100 miles an hour. Anthony, he's got a lot of space ahead of him here. Right, I need players in the box. How good to the ball, back post! <laughs> Never going to score a header! Billing, win that. How did you not get that first? Well done, McTominay. Bournemouth starting to push players up here. Then a white. Rashford, lovely. Oh, you jammy plum. He got his foot right in the way of it at the death. Can't believe that. That was the chance. That was the last chance we had there. Oh, unbelievable ref. Unbelievable. So we've lost again. Oh, man, this is, this is, I need, I need January time to come fast. I mean, who would have thought? Dropping points against Bournemouth. Not to say Bournemouth are terrible, but you just can't have it. It can't happen in this day and age. And the referee's going to look at the watch. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. All right, this is fine. This is like Man United pre-Eric Ten Hag. And then we're going to change it up and somehow win games. But yeah, what a nightmare that was. So there we have it. I mean, we had chances. Uh, if you look at the shot count, six to ten to five, it's still not good enough. Our pass completion's rubbish. Pass complete is not good enough. And just looking at the match rating, you know, Martinez 7.7. I mean, it's our forwards. They're just not offering us anything. Sancho a 6, Rashford a 6.2. I mean, Anthony had a 6.8. There's nothing there. Right, we'll end this on a post-match interview. Next episode, we've got to win games. Taking form and league position into account, you must be disappointed with today's result. Yeah, I've got my hoodie on because that's how sad I am. Um, I mean, they were better than us. Defending wasn't good enough. Um, yes, I know we've got some good attacking players. I watch them in training each week. Uh, but today, we didn't impose ourselves. We didn't create chances. And as a team, we didn't play well. Uh, Bournemouth got what turned out to be the winner before half time. There was plenty of time. Uh, were you worried that your team wasn't able to get into the game? I mean, it wasn't a decent performance. It's one of those days. Yes, we just couldn't get back on terms. I uh, thought the players did everything except play well. I mean, that's basically it. We didn't play well. It was rubbish. Uh, Bournemouth were delighted with their result against you. I guess you're frustrated, though. Was the display of Stacey at the heart of defence? Uh, was there no way past? There was a way past. We just couldn't find a way past. I mean, yeah, she's a good player. But so is the player. So is the team. We're not good enough. And uh, he looks assured. Bloody, 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 blue. That'll be all. Thank you. Thanks. I'll take my hoodie off now. Well, folks, we are now 14th. No, we're still 10th. Um, I thought, no, we were 8th. Now we're, oh, geez, Louise. We are 10th in the, in the table. I mean, where's Bournemouth? Good Lord. Bournemouth is 17th. They've only won two games this season. <laughs> All right. Well, there's a look at the table. Chelsea is still flying high. Liverpool are up there. Uh, Man City fifth, but we, we, we are just making life very difficult for ourselves at trying to get anything here. And I think next we're taking on Tottenham. 
Are we taking on Tottenham? So that's going to be good fun. So yeah, there it is. Tottenham, well, they are lying in four. So this is a must-win game. we got to beat Tottenham. We've got to bounce back. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode, although it's just been pants. Um, let's have a look here. Uh, Malassia was talking about something. And uh, yeah, Ronaldo, we still only have those two offers. So let me know. And I'm the next episode, I'm going to commit to one of these teams probably. Uh, and then just go from there. We need to bring a forward in as well. Let me know your recommendations. Uh, but it's going to be a long season, as you can tell. I, I don't care. Like I'll stick with this. That's why I do these series. And they're never easy. And generally, the first season, I do embarrass myself. And it's going according to plan. Uh, but yes, we will find a way to score some goals and bounce back. But until next time, subscribe for more and take care.